morning, welcome back. Hope you're well. Uh, a bit happened since the last one. We've, uh, yeah, start of a new week. I'm uh, just heading over. Brendan was having a bit of trouble with the laser on the laser bucket uh, on Friday or Thursday, whenever you were last on it. So I'm just heading over to give him a hand to work out what's going on with it. Uh, Tony's back on deck. Uh, we had a pretty good couple of weeks on holidays. So. Uh, he's going to go disking fire breaks, uh, and I'm just going to. We've actually been, you know, it's been a 12, a bit of a 12 months exercise, but been slowly renovating the house, so or our house where we live. Um, and yeah, we've got a guy coming today to to put new carpet down. So uh, I'll probably yeah, gonna need to shift a bit of carpet and that around for him. So um, sorry, a bit of furniture around for him. So. I'll sort of be hanging around, but I want to get the header, get it finished and get it back together and or get it back together anyway and get it out of the shed and we've still probably got to convert the concaves, um, which I've got the stuff to do anyway. Yeah, so I want to get the header, header done. Um, I've got the round bar to uh, convert, convert the concaves, so we'll see how we go with them. I've got to spend an hour or so on a nine inch grinder, which doesn't excite me all that much, just cleaning up where Tony's cut out the bars out of the old concave, but I'll show you that. Uh, new con new camera, so we've gone back to a GoPro, we've gone to a GoPro 12, hopefully um, it's gonna take the jumpiness out of the out of the footage, which was, oh, I found it frustrating editing it, so uh, yeah, hopefully it'll help, help you guys, so. And look, we've, you know, three year warranty and I don't, you can't actually get a GoPro fixed, believe it or not. So the other ones, you know, I don't know, it'll be a fishing weight or something. But anyway, all the stuff that we had for it obviously fits this new one. So that's that's one good thing. Uh, so yeah, we, Sarah went up, had to go to Albury on Saturday. So I got her to grab one while she was there. A uh, bit of good stuff out of that's come out of this. Actually, we, oh, we had our, um, Barn business review on Friday. Uh, that was pretty well a full day where a guy from Eric from Barmenka comes down and we basically pull the business apart and do a review of the year and what worked and what you know what made money and what didn't. So pretty average year again. Um, cheap prices haven't helped us. Um, we've sort of taken a bit of a hit on them. I think it was round figures were sort of down one hundred and fifty thousand dollars year on year. If you say it quick, it's not so bad. Um, cropping wasn't too bad. Uh, wheat yields probably didn't help us that much. I think we've only averaged about 4.3 or 4 ton across the the lot. So with the sort of higher input cost, that was, um, yeah, it wasn't brilliant. So yeah, sort of just an average year. Uh, contracting was very good. Um, and yeah, it didn't have a lot of repairs this year, which, which helps the, the bottom line, of course. Uh, and then, yeah, we did, uh, I had a, uh, a girl from ABC Radio get in touch, uh, what are we up to, fortnight ago now, I suppose, um, she should track me down on YouTube, come across me on YouTube, and she came out and did a, did a story on us for the new, uh, for sort of, uh, for the radio, sorry, and then, um, Oh, that just went on my story online. Uh, and then on Friday morning, well, we had Eric there and actually had a phone call out of the blue from um, ABC News Television. So, uh, yeah, we did a, um, a live Zoom to ABC News just talking about the social media side of things and, uh, yeah, which was a bit different. So, uh, yeah, that's things are... Words getting getting out of what we're trying to do and what we're trying to achieve, which is which is nice. So um, yeah, trying to trying to spread the good word of farming and what we're doing. Uh, and then yeah, yesterday we actually had a guy a guy that got in touch with me um, through Instagram that grew up on a farm, um, lived about an hour away. He was down down uh, for a holiday actually for a weekend. Um, Cobram, so yeah, him and his family called in and had a look at rice and corn, and um, we managed to r rustle up Tiny, the pet lamb, for the kids to have a pet. So yeah, that was pretty cool too. So that sort of, you know, it, it just shows what you know what we're trying to achieve with the channel, with you know, guys like Tom that called in yesterday that um, yeah, sort of have had farming experience but don't no longer have it. Um, we can sort of give them that experience again and give you guys the experience that have. You know, if you've never been on a farm, so that's um, 
yeah, it's pleasing that we're we're sort of starting to tick a few boxes on that front. And and, and I mean, we didn't really have any goals set when we first started the channel, but it's um, yeah, it's nice to see that we're sort of getting a bit of traction that way and um, spreading the good word of agriculture. <laughs> so anyway, uh, enough of my bullshit. Um, so we're just out here again. Uh, buckets here. Weather report. Uh, weather's around, winds around the south. Cool night again. Uh, um, but yeah, we've just got this bay here. I don't know what it's going to be. Going to be a warmish week again, 35s or something. Mid 30s, which will be all right. So shearing, a bit else. What are we doing? We're shearing uh, today week. So we'll yeah, a bit of sheep work to get them back. Uh, I've got to get all sheep back home. Uh, yeah. So, but Brendan's got a couple of bays left to do here, and then we'll um, bring the bring the grader board over and yeah run the grader board over these um just to just to finish tidy him up at the very end and yeah i want to where he's been filling the channels and that in over there i want to get them get that done as well so uh yeah anyway as usual plenty happening all right so hopefully he should be all right <clears throat> what we what i discovered is the lead that i couldn't find the other day there just seems to be a loose wire in the bottom of it and you you give it a wiggle and it seems to behave itself so i did cut the heat shrink off it to see whether i could see anything and actually pulled the cover off the little yellow box just to make sure everything was all right and there it's all uh, it's a couple of years old that stuff but it hasn't done a lot of a lot of work so it's not like it's been in and out of the tractor so we just, um, yeah, now that we sort of know what we're looking for, once we sort of finish doing this, we might we might take it down to the, the laser guy that we got it off and, uh, yeah, get him just to double check it. But there's just, yeah, a bit of a, bit of a, seems to be a bit of a short there somewhere. Um, you've sort of got two, you've got your on grade light on as well as your high light at the same time. Window wind up. <coughs> yeah, so whether that's causing it to start and jump and carry on. So anyway, it's, uh, we don't have a lot to do with it, but uh, yeah, going forward, we'll have to get it fixed because we do have a bit of work in the, in the pipeline to do, um, which I will speak about in due course. Anyway, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll duck home and start and get into this header. This fancy bar of Tony's, it's got a, well you can, well you can see it, if I can drive it there, it's got a sort of funny end, adjustable end on it, which is good for getting this stuff in. Oh, there it is, there it is. Cool, alright. The holes even line up, that's even better. Okay. In a minute, I'll just turn you around the camera. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not. That plate there that it bolts up to. That plate there, that plate there. Uh, yeah, it was actually tapered forward on an angle, so sort of obviously the gap was closer at the bottom than the top, so we sort of had to get the sheet right up to get it to come down. So, um, yeah, I might just bang a couple of bolts in and then that sheet of canvas, it's got to go up, up in between there and then it sandwiches together and um, yeah, there's some counter suck head bolts that go in there. Um, but yeah, that's it up 
pretty well. It's a bit of a gap. It's a bit gappy down the side there. You can see a bit of daylight. Um, so yeah, we might uh, we'll get some sicker flex, and which we've got run a bit of sicker flex down there, and that'll pull up a bit too. We might we'll put the sicker flex in there before we bolt it up, and when we bolt it up to the sides, it'll it'll pull it out a bit anyway. So yeah, a bit of huffy and puffy. Um, but no, that's gone in all right actually. So we'll, yeah, I might jump in the ute now and slip up and get these other bits and pieces, and then we can get this thing back on. Uh, back at the workshop. Uh, so a bit of a snippet of putting that in uh, the new floor in the other day. There's the old one. Uh, yeah, it was wasn't too bad. Uh, so yeah, after I got that in the other day, I did jump in the ute and go and. Grab the other bits and pieces, so a new bit of uh, canvas that runs along the bottom there, so we'll bang him in. $250 for a bit of canvas. Uh, yeah, you probably won't. <laughs> I have done a fair bit of whinging about the price of parts. Actually, uh, actually cheaper than these things, so I did find, after I couldn't find it the other day, I did find uh, uh, the new uni and that one what happened was when it came apart it dropped in the dirt and yeah anyway so i'm going to replace that uni uh i don't know whether whether the edit will mention that so going to place replace that uni and then also there's another one here i'm going to replace as well so it just feels it's not too bad but while we've got it apart um i just like doing that while we get stuff while we've got stuff apart um yeah we just sure as hell you don't replace it it'll uh, it'll fail so so yeah two new unis uh, I can actually tell you what unis are actually cheaper than the uh, here's the invoice if it can open it the unis are $162 and the bit of canvas is $252 anyway that's the world we live in. So anyway, I'll get this bolted back, get this canvas in uh, and get that bolted in. I need to put a bit of sicker flex in there as well, just to fill a few of the gaps up. Uh, and then we can do those unis. And then the plan is actually as well on Friday, uh, a little motorbike. Uh, plan is on Friday, the other day, I got some box section to make up this face plate. So, those of you guys new to the channel, one thing I didn't, I forgot to mention at the start, uh, yeah, welcome along to those, I think since the ABC interview and that, there's been a sort of couple hundred subscribers come on, come on so welcome and uh, yeah, thanks for the subscribing. So yeah, what we've got, we've got, we've bought a John Deere corn front and we've got to adapt it to the case, um, obviously the case header. So we're gonna rebuild, build a new, base plate for the feeder house and uh, yeah well hopefully fingers crossed it uh, should work so once we get the frame made up I'll uh, we'll get a we need to get a, a sleeve whether we yeah probably probably just buy the sleeve ourselves and um, I'll go to town and get it and we can machine it up here and and weld it in for the to mount it up and then it's just got a bolt either side uh, to fix it there, so should be easy enough. Anyway, we'll get this bit of canvas in and get this other thing bolted up.
right, I'll just show you what I'm trying to do here. Um, while we've got the front off the header, <coughs> we've got a bolt that's broken off. And it's just, yeah, from what I think it is, may have mentioned in an earlier video, just from when we put the PDA shaft through it. So you can see in there, there's a bolt. See my finger wiggling? Right in there. So I had a long, it's in a stupid spot. Usually you would have all this front off um, to get at it. So I actually had a, re a long drill bit from another job, um, something else. So to get a pilot hole through it. So I've been able to drill through it. And then what I've done is to get in there, I've just uh, got a bolt and welded it, sacrificed a drill bit and welded it to it. So I'm hoping I can get the drill out a bit further to get at it now. Um, I've got what they call um, an easy out or some, I've got a kit easy outs. These are basically just, they've got a, a coarse thread. You can see that they're coarse thread on them and they're actually twisted to the left so you know if you you drill a hole knock them in and then screw it as though you can unscrew the bolt and in theory they come off come out uh all the stud broken stud comes out but that doesn't always happen so i'm just trying to get all this i've got to and blown all there was a fair bit of dust and crap and we were losing grain had a lot of grain at harvest time sitting down in here and we were actually losing it um you can see quite a bit of daylight around the bottom here so i just want to get this thing back in the right spot if i can get it bolted up properly and then um i've got the floor in the other job um but yeah before i sort of take to this the silk sicker flex or well, like the sil silicon if you don't know what silic sicker flex is sicker flex is if i can get it out this stuff um yeah i'll just get all this done so i'm just do a big big job of it at one go so i'll just sort of have a go at getting this out but it's it's proving to be a bit of a pain in the ass. So anyway, we'll see how we go. Uh, yeah, uh, I might have a f keep fumbling around here and see how we go. Uh, yeah, but we're not uh, not having a lot of joy at the moment. Anyway, that's all right. Lovely day. It's warming up. All right, what we did, we got a little handle here to go on the. Uh, if I can get, I can't get it undone now. And I just I've just welded a nut on the end of it so I can get a ring spanner on it. Still too tight. So, we've got our friend Mr. Oxy to you. We're just going to hold, chuck a bit of heat on it um, if I can. And yeah, look, hopefully that'll be enough to get it down, get it undone. I don't know whether it might have a bit of Loctite on it as well. But we'll put a bit of heat on it and uh, yeah, see how we go. Try not to set, off, set fire to the header. Um, yeah, where we're going. Anyway, uh, it's not in the best spot, so we're not going to be able to get a 
We're not going to be able to get a, uh, a real good go at it, but anyway, we might be able to get enough just to get it to start. So, uh, yeah, because that's don't what can happen, and it does go south, is if you break that that off, because that's hard as hard as hard can be, and you can't drill them. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll uh, put a bit of heat on it and see how we go. I can't actually get the torch in there to get out of there. We might have to wave the white flag on this one because it's just where it is, it's a bit hard to get out. Anyway, so. We'll get it cleaned up and fold it up the best we can and uh, yeah, get it all back in. Uh, swarming up pretty well. Uh, so yeah, got all this pretty right. Uh, looks a bit agricultural, but you'll never see it once it's all bolted back up together. Uh, notice there was a there was a bit of a gap under here, hence where I've put that stuff. But there was actually a bolt missing in the back there that sort of sandwiched that together. So I'll put another bolt in there. Um, got that pulled up pretty tight, and I've sicker flexed in around behind that. Although the gap was has pulled up pretty well. Uh, I've got new. Bit of canvas here, I'll unbolt that in a minute and put that along there. It's a bit ratty in spots. Um, yeah, so I've just been mucking around with this floor, just finalising it. Uh, just noticed there's a couple of holes here. And it's no big deal, I've already done two of them. You can see here there's two holes are just in the wrong spot, so they're, they're just 25 mil out. So I'll, I've actually taken a photo and I'll, I'll send it to old mate and just let him know. So, but yeah, all I've done is just 
just I've just got to re-drill them. So stainless is a bit tricky because it's a bit harder and um, yeah, it's a bit hard on drill bits. So we we use a cutting. We generally use a cutting compound I've got here and just a slow speed on the drill. Um, and yeah, it's good for blunting drills if you if you go too quick at it. But um, yeah, we'll just get these other two done and then I'll get these things to bolt back up, which is no biggie. And then I'll I'll pull this front off and uh, yeah, we'll actually might try and get the feeder house back on the header because I'm sick of looking at it in the workshop here. <laughs> done you just see we've got these sort of press in pop rivet type thready things i don't know what their proper name is so i actually just ground the top off them had a couple that had stripped out so i had some nuts that are actually a perfect fit in there so i've just dropped a nut in there and chucked a bit of weld around the bottom of them and uh yeah that'll hold that cover on uh yeah so it's we're getting there we'll bolt that back on and then we'll here yeah, try and attack this front front thing yeah, right. we've got these few couple of bolts out. There's one on each side here, and um, got those three out. And just there was just a plate on there. We've got a sling up the top here. So yeah, it's all pretty. Hopefully, it um, it'll come off without too much drama. I've got the telehandler here, so we'll hook the sling up and see how we go.
Oh, all right, that's what we're looking at. So that'll be easy enough. We'll get a get a bush um, to go over that to mount this other thing when we make it. Now you may have seen me jump then um, when this it's actually a bit of nylon that fell out onto the floor. Uh, the reason I did I did that is uh, I was putting a floor on a feeder house in an older header we had about oh it would have been 11 or 12 years ago if Sarah was heavily pregnant um, with our eldest daughter and same thing I was sliding the, the well I was sliding the floor out and had something drop out like that actually landed on my left foot and broke my big toe in three places and I think three other toes so um, yeah that's why I sort of jumped when I saw that go because it I thought it was just going to be, I thought it was going to be heavy, but it was just a bit of nylon, so anyway, there it is, it's got a bit of weight in it too, just quietly, so, um, but yeah, get a bit of an idea of what the go is, need to, while we've got it off, we'll fix up that strip along the bottom there that you can see, so while I'm going, um, I might even try and put this back on, I know I'm here on my own, it's not ideal, but um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Probably is a two-man job this one. Anyway, just uh, you can see the new rubber or new canvas strip there. I've just got to try and feed it in um, as we come in. So anyway, we'll just uh, keep poking away here slowly and see how we go. 